Hey everybody, welcome back to part 3 of uh, creating a simple blog using Laravel and Bootstrap. In the previous video we created a new uh, new post uh, blade template and the login blade template. On I made a, two mistakes on the new blade template. Uh, right here I forgot one of the colons and here also I forgot a colon. So, And I found this out because I I hate just coding and not seeing if anything's right, so did you just I just did write get and we're gonna just do let's do the login first and we're just gonna do since we're gonna do everything in the route actually not that I'm sorry here we go just create a function and we're gonna turn the make pages dot login and inline there. Save that. Let's go into here, not the house and menu, and log in. And there's our login. Okay, so we have that and that works. So let's go back into WAMP. And let's create one for the new page. Now, granted, it's going to throw an error. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. So log in new. It could be anything we wanted, but I'm just going to call it new for right now. Function. And we'll return. Don't need to capitalize it. Return view make, and it's going to be pages dot new. Semicolon there, semicolon here, control S, and go back in here and just type new. Okay. Now this is good because all it's telling us is, is, there's, is that there's an, un an undefined variable called user and that would be because we haven't defined it yet which is here this line right here is throwing the error that's good because nothing else is throwing an error so that's good so now we're just going to go ahead and uh, continue on from where we were so let's go ahead and create our home view and this is going to be under home.blade.php so let's go to pages create a new file control shift s to save it we're going to call it home.blade.php okay. of course we're going to target our master page so master our section, which is content, go ahead and end our section, and we'll start coding. So here, what I haven't used before is we're going to use the for each statement. So for each post that we have, each post result that return each result that we turn from a post query uh, it's going to print so it's going to loop through and provide us all the posts so for each posts as post actually Sorry about that, it's a variable. Post. Do this. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to have a div with a class of row. So dot row. Inside that, we'll have a div with a class of span 8. And we're going to have another row. So 
another dot row, and another dot span eight. And this is just uh, what I'm using here. This is just going to be the standard. It's a bootstrap, uh, just a bootstrap layout. So it's four strong. Inside here, which we'll through HTML link. This will all make sense once we're completely done with what we're doing here. View forward slash. So it's going to go to the view route, and then it's going to provide an ID, which is what we're going to append here. So dot post ID. So the ID of the post that we're requesting, and then the post title. So post. title. I should probably have done the route first, but I'm trying to get these views done, and then we'll come back and explain later. So I'm just trying to figure out where I'm at here. Alright. So here we're going to have another div, so div class of row. Band two. Uh, and I'm just gonna throw this in here in case uh, you want to throw a thumbnail in. I'm not gonna show you how to do thumbnails here, but I was messing when I was doing this earlier. I was messing around with it and I just left it in. So. Course is going to be. I'm just gonna paste this in here off my notes, and I'm not gonna have an alt. Okay, inside here, I have a div with a span six. So span six using emit p tag. Here we're just gonna subtract so I'll use a substring and because you can mix I mean Laravel is just not Laravel I mean we can still mix and match PHP with it because essentially it is still PHP so body zero 120 And sorry for that. What we're doing here is just limiting to a to hundred characters, hundred and twenty characters from the body. And then P again. So what we just did is we're taking this and we're taking 120 characters from the body text itself and giving you like a preview of the actual post so you have the post title you have a preview of text to the post title and then we're gonna now we're gonna give you a link to view that post in its entirety so I'm gonna do it like this link and we're gonna go back into the view Post ID. I'm going to grab that post. Sorry about that. Variable post ID. I'm going to grab that and the link is going to say read more. So read more of the post. I'm going to give it a class of a button. So class equals button and here at this div here we're just going to simply end our for each so end for each and we're just going to have 
this is going to be our pagination here at the bottom. So, post links, and you'll see when we get into routes how we do all this. Okay, we simply have one more thing to do here, and that's to go ahead and create the full view for the post. So, we'll create a new file, and we're going to call this full.blade.php. So, full.blade.php. Enter. And this is going to be real simple. It's just going to be layout, master, at section. Content. Go ahead and end the section. And like I said, it's going to be very, very simple. So, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So, span eight. Have that class here. We're going to have simple H1. And here we're going to have a link. Uh, this HTML link, so HTML link here. We're still going to be having a view. Same thing as usual that we've been seeing. Dot post. ID and post title so that's that inside here we're going to have just a paragraph tag and here's where we're going to echo out really the post body so post body that's that we'll have a link back to the index for so back to the home page so we'll have HTML link it's gonna return us to our default page with a value of back to index and it's also going to be a button so array with a class of button and now we're just going to have a simple div because we want to have some information at the bottom of the page here. So we're just going to do a span, a class of badge, and badge success. These are just the different colors that it's using. So and here we're going to say posted and we're going to echo out the date it was created at. So to do that, we're just going to simply say post and echo out the created at field. And that's that. And that's simply all we need to do for the full blade page. So let's save that. And we'll end the video right here. The next video would be number four. Four, I believe. Uh, well, we'll go ahead and we'll get diving into the routes section, full steam. You'll see the actual code. So, stay tuned. And there's one more thing I want to do at the end of this video. And I want to go ahead and migrate. We didn't do that earlier. So PHP artisan back into the command command line and uh, migrate. And because we, we didn't migrate those tables last time, so. 
we go in here, refresh, we have these. So next up, we'll create the actual routes. We'll do the models, because we need to create these models here. And uh, after that, it'll be, we'll be finished. So I'm assuming the next video will be the last video. So subscribe, like, and stay tuned for part five.